On screen now you can see my eCatcher account that I'm logged into and you can see the Cozy that we've been setting up is now showing as online. So I can create a VPN tunnel through to it just by clicking connect and the system appears in the upper window. So what we've got set up here is a simple connection, what's called a network bridge. So all devices which are connected or reachable from the LAN ports on the Cozy are accessible to me remotely from where I am logged in here. And I can prove that by going to my browser and just typing in the IP address of one of the devices that I know is on my remote connection. And it's a web camera. So if I log into that, I get a live stream of my remote site, which is currently monitoring a nice range of HMS products. The other thing that you'll see in the Active Connection screen at the top here is that the Cozy itself has an underline. This is a, a link where you can click and it will automatically open a browser and access the internal web pages of the Cozy. So if you need to do any configuration changes remotely or check the diagnostics, as long as you're online through eCatcher, through the Talk2M cloud, you can access the internal web server of your Cozy. So here we can check the diagnostics remotely. We can rerun the wizards if we want to make any changes to the configuration and uh, all is available as if the Cozy was sitting next to us. We go back to eCatcher now. We've got the ability to look at a couple of other features here. So the properties of our Cozy, we have now the chance to modify and change the name of it to enter the custom fields. We also have the location of our Cozy showing on a map based on the, the routing information. It gives us information about the, the VPN and also some information about the, the LAN and the firewall setting up. And we'll be covering those subjects in a, another webinar So we finish working with our remote devices and we can just click disconnect. What pops up is a box to show um, the ability to add a message and explain what we have done during our system today. So that will now be logged and we can look at the log here and it will show us who's connected what they did and if they have left a log message that will appear here as well. Okay, so we've disconnected. That device is now ready and available for the next time we want to go online and see what's happening with our camera.